Okay, what I'm going to demonstrate is how to take an antenna like this, um, which is homemade, and sweep it um, to see what its uh, reflection coefficient is, or return loss. And uh, we'll show you how to do that. So I start with the signal generator on the center frequency. I come over to my uh, spectrum analyzer and make sure that's right. And you'll notice that I've set the level on my signal generator here to, uh, to match a nice level here. So we have the return loss bridge, uh, directional coupler that is, installed. Um, we've got um, an open here, which is 100% reflection. And I'm letting that represent um, this point right here. So this is the 0 dBm or 0 dB return loss uh, level. And I just adjust the spectrum analyzer until I, I mean the uh, generator until I get that reference point. Next, I connect up the antenna, as you can see here. Uh, you can see that that's put into the J1 input, which I've labeled uh, device under test. And that's the antenna. Um, the coupled port goes to the spectrum analyzer, and the um, output goes to the generator. So the directional coupler is hooked up backwards to measure reflected power back this way. Okay, and as you can see on the spectrum analyzer, uh, at that frequency we're showing 10, 20, almost 30 dB of return lost. Next what we'll do is we'll sweep to see uh, how the antenna uh, resonates uh, and over what band. So now what I've done is I've put the spectrum analyzer in peak hole and the signal generator on sweep and we're just sweeping the frequency from below 978 to above 978 and we're going to see exactly uh, where the antenna resonates. So as you can see, it's a little bit below 978, uh, maybe 968 or so. That's how it works. So signal generator in this case was programmed to 100 megahertz sweep with a center frequency of 978. Spectrum analyzer is on peak hold, and I've got it in the narrow bandwidth mode just to try to clean up the signal sum. So you can see that the Antenna is actually resonant right about here, a little bit below 978, but still offering 20 dB of return loss. Remember, this was 0 dB. That's 20 dB of return loss um, at 978, so that's a pretty good antenna. Incidentally, this change in the shape was due to the fact that I got the iPad too close to the antenna and it affected its uh, tuning. So uh, you want to have the antenna um, in an open area and uh, this amount of space that I've got here is probably marginal, but that's, that's what we're doing, is we're um, trying to keep the antenna in an open area. So that's a 978 megahertz quarter wave ground plane, and it offers at least 20 dB of return loss at 978 megahertz.